Now let's evaluate integral a cos x plus b sin x plus c by d cos x plus e sin x plus f where the condition is that each of a, b, c, d, e and f are real numbers and d and e are non-zero because if d and e are zero then the whole of denominator vanishes and the simplification becomes easier. So with this condition let's see how we can evaluate an integral of this type in the session. So usually an integral of this form, integral of this is evaluated using the property numerator which I denote with nr is equal to a times d by dx of denominator or derivative of denominator plus b times of denominator plus c is how we assume the formula in case of evaluating the integral thus. So numerator is assumed with a times d by dx of denominator plus b times of denominator plus c and then we just reduce the left hand side into the integral form as given in the problem and then we get the solution. But ultimately this is the formula for evaluating the integral of the type a cos x plus b sin x plus c by d cos x plus e sin x plus f. Now let's take an example problem to support the evaluation of integral of this type. So let's take an example problem similar to the type as given in the session. So for example, I take an example problem of evaluating integral cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7 whole divided by cos x plus sin x plus 1 dx. Now evaluation of integral cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7 whole divided by cos x plus sin x plus 1 dx is very much represented with this where a is 1, b is 3, c is 7, d is 1, e is 1, f is 1. So let's see how we can evaluate using the method for the integration of this. So we know that numerator is a times derivative of the denominator plus b times of denominator plus c. Let's try to utilize the numerator which is cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7 and the denominator which is cos x plus sin x plus 1 substituted in this formula. Now my numerator comes in the left hand side as supported with the formula. Therefore, cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7 which is equal to a times derivative of the denominator that is the constant a times of denominator derivative that is d by dx of the denominator which is cos x plus sin x plus 1 which comes there. And next is b times of denominator which comes in the second stage of and hence I write this as b times of denominator which is cos x plus sin x plus 1 and then followed with c. So we get this a times this b times this plus c which I am going to evaluate. So evaluation of this leads to cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7 is equal to a times of d by dx of cos x is minus sin x which is using the standard formula of derivatives and d by dx of sin x is cos x and derivative of a constant is 0 because d by dx of 1 is 0 and similarly this would be b times cos x plus sin x plus 1 plus c. Now I try to take all cos x terms one side 
sin x terms one side and all the constants to the other side. So I pair the cos x terms, sin x terms and constants as in order. So therefore, let me first start with cos x terms. Now I have a cos x term here and here which comes as a plus b cos x when I expand the bracket and take cos x common. Similarly, when I have sin x, I can take this as minus a plus b of sin x as can be clearly seen here. And then taking the constants here, a times of 0 is 0, b times of b is b. So I get this to be b plus c in this case. Now let me take this as equation 1 where my intention is to find the values of a, b, c and then substitute in my equation 1. So being the target that I had to find a, b, c, I am going to use this equal to this in order to find a, b, c. So let us see how we can find the unknown constants a, b, c and then substitute it in equation 1. Now continue from here. Let us find A, B and C. So as I see my left hand side which is cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7 which is nothing but equal to A plus B cos x. And then plus minus A plus B sin x. And then the constant which is b plus c, then I clearly see that there are some like terms in the left hand side and the right hand side when they are combined together. Now as we see the left hand side and the right hand side, I compare the like coefficients, I see that coefficient of cos x on the right hand side as a plus b which is equal to the coefficient of cos x on the left hand side which is 1 by comparing or equating the like coefficients. And similarly I find that coefficient of sin x which is minus a plus b on the right hand side is equal to the coefficient of sin x on the left hand side exactly the same. Similarly, the constant on the right hand side must be equal to the constant value on the left hand side. Therefore, this being equal to this. Now, I have three equations and three unknowns A, B and C which we are going to solve using the elimination method. So, as I see here, first I take these two. then I clearly see that by elimination method this gets cancelled when I add them and then I get b plus b which is 2b 1 plus 3 4 that implies b is equal to 2. Now when I get the value of b it is very easy to get the value of a either substituted in this or this. So let me substitute this value in this equation that implies a plus 2 equals 1 and that implies a equals 1 minus 2 therefore a is minus 1 b is 2 now once I got the values of a and b it is easy to find the value of c substituted in this where I substitute this into this equation therefore I get 2 plus c equals 7 and that implies c is 7 minus 2 which is 5 which is this Therefore, I got the three unknowns which I wanted to find, one being a equals minus 1, b equals 2 and c equals 5. Now, I am going to substitute these three constants in the equation 1 and let us see how further can we evaluate from the values a, b and c. Therefore, a is minus 1, b is 2 and c is 5 is what we got using the elimination method. Now substituting the above values in equation 1 which we have obtained in the previous case, let us see what exactly we get in the new equation. 
so numerator being cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7 is a times derivative of the denominator plus b times of the denominator that is 2 times and plus c which I got as 5 is what we get when we substitute the values of a, b and c in equation 1. Now we have to evaluate the integral therefore I have to reduce the left hand side into the form of an integration. And therefore, in order to get the integral of the required problem, I'm going to divide this with the denominator and integrate over dx. Let's see how. Divide both sides with cos x plus sin x plus 1. and integrate over dx that is with respect to x so let's see what happens so initially I divide each of the sides with this cos x plus sin x plus 1 and then I integrate over dx then clearly I understand that my left hand side reduces to the required problem is the how we use the technique in finding the integral of this utilizing the right hand side strictly. So the right hand side reduces to minus 1 times integral d by dx of cos x plus sin x plus 1 by cos x plus sin x plus 1 dx and then the second term reduces to two terms of integral cos x plus sin x plus 1 cos x plus sin x plus 1 dx and finally the last term reduces to phi times integral 1 by cos x plus sin x plus 1 dx is what we get. Now let's see how each of this is simplified as we all know that we have a formula which states for the first one